Hey guys, I'm Bob. Welcome to the Math Mad channel. And today I'm going to talk about determining the roots of the uh, quadratic equation itself, especially uh, when you want to, you know, you do not want to sort of like uh, work it out everything to to find, okay, the value of x, okay. But the thing is that you just want to determine what is the what kind of roots, okay, that you will get when you are given a quadratic equation itself. Well, the roots can be of uh, three types. It can be real roots or equal real roots. Okay, so there are three types of roots. Let me just write down here three types of roots. Right, the first one can be equal roots or real um, roots. Am I right to say that? Real distinct roots. All right. And finally, no real roots, right? So what does it mean by roots? Okay, roots basically means, okay, values of uh, uh, x itself, the values of x itself. Because what we are trying here is that we are trying to solve x. So basically, uh, when, we, when we actually solve a particular quadratic equation, there's three kinds of scenarios. One, it is equal roots, all right? So equal roots basically means that okay you can only have one solution of x, and when you the second type of roots is real distinct roots, which is when you got two solutions of x, and finally no real roots basically means that okay you got no uh, solution for x. So basically, how do we actually determine whether is it equal roots or real distinct roots or no real roots? So basically, when you sort of like um, make x the subject of this uh, quadratic equation, you will get x equals to uh, minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. All right. Of course, the thing is that you can actually work out this whole uh, minus b blah 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 square root, you know plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a in order to get your x. But uh, if we just want to determine okay the type of roots itself for this kind of quadratic equation. Uh, you can actually look at just this portion down here, okay? Why? Because this portion itself will determine everything, okay? Will determine the type of roots. So basically, there are three types of roots that is involved. So for the first scenario, if let's say my b square minus four ac is greater than zero, so if my b square minus four ac is greater than zero, of course we do have a value in the square root itself, and x will be either minus b plus square root um, b square minus 4ac over 2a okay or minus b minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a all right so in this such case okay this um, situation refers to okay this real distinct roots all right so why is it real is because the roots as you exist and distinct is because you will get two different solutions all right so that is the first scenario whereby your b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero and of course there is uh, two more case to go let me just uh, erase this a bit and we move on to the second case the second case itself is when b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. So when b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, this whole square root itself will become 0. And your x is basically just minus b plus minus square root 0 over 2a. Or this will become just x minus b. Sorry, x minus b over 2a. So when b squared, your b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, Okay, when we use this sort of like condition to check to see whether uh, what type of roots is uh, will you get, you know, for this kind of quadratic equation. If your b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, you'll get x is equal to minus b over 2a. So this means that the two roots itself, or the two roots itself, they are real, but they are equal. So which means that your x is maybe equals to 2 and x is equals to 2, all right? Because for quadratic equation itself, you will definitely get two answers. Not say definitely get two answers. You will get two answers, but it can be equal or it can be different, which is distinct roots as mentioned in the first situation, or you won't be able to form 
uh, find a solution. So in the third scenario itself is when your B squared minus 4AC is less than zero. So what happens if your B squared minus 4AC is less than zero? If your B squared minus 4AC is less than zero, that means that your square root itself is negative, all right? You can't square root a negative and you end up with no solution, all right? So when you end up with no solution, okay, this itself, okay, Okay, it means that, okay, the quadratic equation itself, okay, has no real roots. That means we couldn't find a solution because from this condition itself, we checked and we realized that this b squared minus 4ac is smaller than zero, where your a and b and your c are just the coefficient of uh, the x squared and x and this constant itself. And this is, and you, you actually yield a no solution. So, to sum up the whole thing, okay, in order to determine the root of the quadratic equation itself, basically what you do is to just make use of this very important formula, which is b squared minus 4ac, okay, um, to determine the root itself, whether it's a real distinct root, equal roots, or no real roots. So if your b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, the x itself has a real distinct root. That means there's two values of x. And if your b squared minus 4ac is equals to zero, it is uh, the x itself, okay, there are two, there is only one answer, okay, that will be equal roots. And finally, if your b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, okay, there's no solution, which means that, okay, your roots itself are not real, or unreal roots, all right? Unreal roots basically means that it's complex numbers. All right, uh, hope this actually clarifies further on how you actually determine the type of roots itself okay, from the quadratic equation. If you have any um, particular question that you want to ask, you can send it or you can type it in the comment section below. And Bob signing off from here. Thank you guys for watching and supporting this channel and do subscribe for more help. All right, see you guys.